I'm a bit of a sucker for going online, seeing some tech and thinking, yeah, I'll definitely find a use for that at some point. Case in point, a Bluetooth foldable keyboard. Let's unbox it and they're going to test it in an unusual, but hopefully informative way. Hey everyone, Mark from The Spark here. Yeah, I bought the BOW Bluetooth portable keyboard. I don't really know much about it. It's been sat on my desk now for about a week. Let's get this thing unboxed, see what it looks like, and then we'll test it, like I say, in a way which I think you will appreciate. Okay, let's do this. I've done the first bit of just getting all this sticky stuff off here. Let's unbox it. Okay, so I'm assuming that's the keyboard. Let's put that to one side for a second. What do we get here? A USB-C to USB-A. What? What, what is this all about? Why, why, hang on, hang on that's not even USB-C. I was, I was wrong. It is micro USB to USB-A. Oh dear, oh well, never mind. It is what it is, hopefully we'll have to charge this thing up too much. Nothing else in the box, some instructions there. We'll look at them if we need to. Okay, let's do this nice kind of velvety case. I honestly don't know whether that's BOW, B-O-W. I don't really know how you pronounce that. But anyway, it, it is what it is. I'll put a link in the description below so you'll be able to go check it out for yourself. All right, okay, so these are the, these attach magnetically to the keyboard here. This is the, the stand here, if you can kind of imagine. There we go, a little stand there. That'd be good for your, your um, phone as well. And then I would imagine this, what, this just, oh yeah. So it kind of, it's magnetically attached there and then just folds out. Ooh, that's quite a neat little, little thing. Let's see how it types. Do you know what? It's not, it doesn't actually feel too bad as a, a typing experience, but it is teeny tiny, you kind of have to get used to that. Um, and it, it slides around quite a bit. There's no kind of pads on here to stop it shifting. I mean, that is something you could deal with afterwards. You can buy tiny little rubber feet and you could you could solve that problem immediately. But could have done with them solving the problem at the factory. But anyway, there we are. Okay, so dead easy to, um, to type on. It's got all the function keys here. Um, it's even got you know, brightness, home button, fast forward, rewind, volume, etc. Obviously, these are the different kind of you can connect it to three different Bluetooth devices by the looks of it. I'm hoping there is some charge on this because it's been sat on my desk for ages. Uh, there we go, and that's where you obviously charge it just there. Um, but I imagine I'll be able to get that synced up quite quickly. Let me get my iPad here and then we'll. I'm just straighten you up a little bit there. Um, let's go Bluetooth and it's already found it. There we go. So it gets flashing there. So we'll tap it and we are connected. The bow or BOW or whatever. All right. Okay. Let's go to some notes here and do a little bit of a little bit of typing. Hello. This is a new keyboard. Oh, that seems to do what you need it to do. Um, like I say, it's, uh, it's quite nice. And um, yeah, it's really good. What do, okay, let's see whether, how has that got the home button? Does that do anything? Or is that number three? Oh, hang on a minute, of course. You would need to press the function button. Yeah, home button. Okay, brightness, up and down. I kind of, I think I bought this. Excuse me for recording with this right in front of my face. I'm recording from home. It's something to do with my office space. Um, I'll talk about that in another episode. Um, but it, it, I bought this, I think, thinking about I might use it with this phone here or even my iPad mini as well at a push when I'm out and about. Um, but there you go. It seems to do everything that you would need it to do. And Okay. So it seems to work really well as a little 
portable, very portable sized keyboard um, and will obviously work with an iPad, with an iPad mini, uh, etc. But what I was interested in doing, and I know I could check it out on the internet, I know I'd find it within probably seconds, but you know what? Sometimes I just want to experiment and see, um, see what happens if I try these things myself. Uh, I wanted to see whether I could connect the Books Note Air 3C tablet, Note Air 3C, yep, yeah, tablet, to a Bluetooth keyboard and do some typing. And I also wanted to see if I could try the um, Kindle Scribe as well and see whether you can type on that or not. I think I know the answer to these questions, but I thought it would take a few minutes just to find out. So let's get the Books sparked up. And let's get into uh, settings. Oh, there we go. Okay. So Bluetooth is on. No, I don't want to rename it. Okay. Now, are we? Let's press this button here. And I guess if we press it for a few moments, it's finding all my Bluetooth devices everywhere. It's finding them everything else. Um, all right. Okay. You just press function and the button. And it starts flashing and it will find it. I don't know what it's called. It's, uh, it's called Bow something or other, isn't it? I don't know what these things are here. Let's just turn blue. Oh, there we go. It's found it. Yeah, I thought it would. Okay, let's pair it. Well, this is looking very good for this experiment here. Let's put this down here. It will fit, I guess. It will, will stand quite happily on, on there. Yeah, that's nice. That's neat. Do, 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 do. Okay. But for the sake of this video, let's just flatten it here. And anything's supposed to auto rotate. I uh, guess not. Oh no, auto rotate. Look, there you go. I'm not switched it on. Auto rotate. Okay. Boom. Da da. Uh, text. And then we can type away. Yay. Oh, brilliant. That's quite nice, actually. So we could, can we, can we get rid of the onboard keyboard there? Yes, we can. Oh, there we go. Brilliant. Shift, exclamation mark. Woohoo. All right, okay. Works on the books. So you can connect an, an external Bluetooth keyboard to a books tablet and it will work quite happily for you. I'm assuming you can do um, better typing and things than I did on here as well. But there we are. Okay, so that's a cool way of doing it. Now, experiment number two, is it gonna work with the scribe? Hang on, I'll just put my code in. So here's this, we're gonna go down to settings. And here we are, Bluetooth devices. And unfortunately, can I get that zoomed in? It looks like it can only connect with a speaker or headphones things like that. I'll do a rescan just to make sure. Yep. Choose a Bluetooth device. Yeah. Turn on pair with it to turn on to pair with a Bluetooth audio device. So I kind of knew the answer already, but I wanted to check it and test it. You can't as at the moment, unless and until um, Amazon decide to add that capacity into uh, a scribe, you can't pair a Bluetooth keyboard with it. All right, okay. I thought you'd find this video interesting. Thought we'd check out this new dinky little thing here, which would be coming useful for typing on my iPad mini or my iPhone, um, and even on a Books tablet. Maybe the Remarkable tablet. When I get that Remarkable Paper Pro through, I will test it as well, just to see. Might make a short video about it or something, but you can't do it on the Scribe. Okay, they promised the Paper Pro will get delivered within the next couple of weeks. So as soon as I get it in my hands, I'll unbox it and I'll give you my honest review of the Remarkable Paper Pro. Okay, until the next one, happy typing.